which brawler has the best super in Brawl Stars? That's a really tough question to answer because there are a lot of different things that make one super not equal to another super or better or worse or whatever. That's exactly what I'm going to try to answer. Every brawler is going to use their super against the boss in the Star Park entrance. We'll start out by ranking every brawler according to how much damage they can deal with their super. Brawlers are allowed to use any star powers or anything else to deal more damage to the boss. Then we're going to rank the supers of brawlers whose supers do not deal any damage at all. As with every Brawl Stars Olympics video, we're going to start with the worst brawlers and then move our way up to the best. Gale's super only deals 336 damage, which is the lowest that a super deals without any star powers. Except for the ones that deal zero damage, but you guys get where I'm coming from. <laughs> Obviously, Gale's super has other perks, like the fact that it pushes enemies and can even attack enemies behind a wall. But when you look at only damage, it is the worst out of the 36 brawlers that deal damage with their supers. Keep watching to see which brawlers can deal the most damage with their supers. But first, now chances are, if you watch my channel on YouTube, there's a good chance you're probably pretty good at Brawl Stars. Well, the sponsor of today's video can actually bring your gameplay to the next level. Medify is the ultimate place for you to get private one-on-one -on -one access to some of the best Brawl Stars coaches in the world. Real Canadian is a coach that pushed Max to over 2,000 trophies and holds the world trophy record for Lou. Portal is one of the few players to ever achieve a perfect score in power play and coached the 2019 Brawl Stars World Champions. Then we have Scythe, who literally won the 2020 World Championship for Brawl Stars. And Medify allows you to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with any of them. And that's because Medify works hard to ensure they have the best coaches for Brawl Stars and over 80 other games, including Super Smash Brothers, League of Legends, or even chess. If you're serious about going pro in Brawl Stars, or even if you just want to get better at the game, Medify is the way to go. Click on the link in the description below to bring your gameplay to the next level. And thanks again to Medify for sponsoring this video. Jessie's turret can only deal 364 damage per attack, which places her in 35th place. Now with that said, thanks to her gadget and her two star powers, Jessie's super is one of the most versatile supers in the game. And unfortunately for her, we're not measuring damage over time. Lou's super deals 504 damage over 9 seconds, which puts Lou in 33rd place. With that said, the fact that Lou's super deals damage makes Brawler slip around and can help freeze them with the help of his super cool star power honestly makes this one of the best supers in the game right now. The damage from Mr. P's porters is only 364 per attack normally, but it gets an additional 150 damage bonus when Mr. P activates his service bell gadget. There's a good argument that Mr. P's super is actually like pretty decent, but technically he only places 33rd in this video. Nita's bear has a lot of health and can output a lot of damage over time. The fact that Bruce is tough to get rid of is why he's so good, but he places Nita at 30 seconds since he only deals 560 damage with each swipe. Bell's super increases the damage that a target takes from all sources, which is awesome, but it only deals 700 damage, putting Bell in 31st place. Honestly though, other than against really tanky targets like an enemy siege bot, the super actually isn't that great because Bell's regular attack deals more damage and has a longer range. B shoots seven projectiles that slow brawlers down and can deal damage. If all seven hit the same target, it will deal 980 damage, which places B in 30th. Honestly though, her super is mostly used for her slow since the damage isn't that great. Daryl begins a three-way tie for 27th place. Because he can hit an enemy twice if he bounces off the wall, his super can deal 1,120 damage against the boss. I tried to hit more than two hits on the boss to give Daryl a little bit better of a shot, but two hits was the maximum I could pull off. Bull's super is pretty much the same as Daryl's, except for it also destroys walls or bushes. It also deals 1,120 damage, which ties him with Daryl for 27th place. Stu's super is also kind of similar, except for it covers a shorter distance, and the damage is only guaranteed if the enemy touches his flame trail. If they do, they receive 1,120 damage over four seconds, which ties Stu for 27th place. Mortis comes in 26th place, dealing 1,260 damage with his super. But don't forget the fact that Mortis' super will heal Mortis 125% of the damage dealt to any brawlers that it hits. Surge's super deals 1,400 damage, so he takes 25th place. However, Surge's super is nearly impossible to compare to any other super because of the ways that it keeps upgrading him, so keep that in mind. Ems takes 24th place since her super can deal 1,680 damage over 5 seconds. It also goes through walls and slows down brawlers, which can make it great for controlling large areas on the field. Terra's super pulls, knocks enemies back, and deals 1,120 damage to enemies, and can even break walls or grass. I decided to add 800 damage to Terra's total score for that single hit that her black portal star power shade, 
can actually deal, which gives her a total damage score of 1920. This ends up placing Terra in 23rd place. Byron super can be used to hurt enemy brawlers and heal friendly brawlers. Since we're only focusing on damage, his super puts Byron at 22nd place, dealing 2100 damage to enemy brawlers. El Primo's super deals 1120 damage to anything he lands on, and thanks to his El Fuego star power, I added 1200 total damage, which brings his total score to 2320 damage with one super, which places him in 21st place. Any brawler hit by Colonel Ruff's supply drop super will be dealt 1400 damage and an extra 1000 damage thanks to his air superiority star power for a total score of 2400 damage. This places Colonel Ruff's in 20th place, but the real benefit from his super is the damage buff that it provides, so keep that in mind. Frank's super deals the same amount of damage as his main attack, but has a longer range and obviously can stun brawlers that are hit by it. Now with Frank's power grab star power active, he deals 2604 damage with his super, which puts him in 19th place. Amber's super is great because she can use her star powers to buff her when she's standing near the oil. When she lights it, brawlers that are caught within the flames will receive 2688 damage over 4 seconds, which places Amber at 17th place. Spike super slows brawlers down and deals 560 damage per second for 5 seconds, dealing 2800 total damage to brawlers that can't seem to find their way out of the thorns. Spike ties for 16th place with our next brawler. Now if Tick super isn't destroyed in time, it will explode and deal 2800 damage to anything in the blast, not to mention clearing some walls along with it. Talk about using your head. Tick ties with Spike at 16th place. Penny comes in 15th place thanks to her cannon that deals 1,680 damage with each shot, plus she gets bonus damage from her Balls of Fire star power. In total, a single attack from her cannon can deal 2,880 damage. Now the difference between Penny at 15th place and the next brawler at 14th place is a 1,000 damage jump. That means we're about to reveal the supers that are serious damage doers. And if you're serious about being awesome, make sure you guys use Skull Kairos and Ball Star Shop. K -A -I. R-O-S, code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. Barley's super can deal 3,808 damage over 4 seconds, which is enough to take 10 brawlers out, including Nani and Bell. Barley takes 14th place, and that doesn't even include the fact that his super is so good at controlling a large area. Now, it's a bit of an understatement that Shelly's super is a blast to use, and a bit uncomfortable if you're the target. In total, her super can deal 4,032 damage if all 9 projectiles hit, which places her super in 13th place. Dynamite's demolition star power enables his super to deal 4,080 damage, which places Dynamite in 12th place. What's crazy about his super is that it recharges his super halfway, which means that he can recharge the super if it hits two targets. Piper drops four bombs on the ground that each deal 1,260 damage. If a target gets hit by all four bombs, she deals 5,040 damage, which is enough to take out 75% of all of the brawlers with just one super. And though it can be a little bit tough to pull off, Nani has potential to deal 5,300 damage with her super, assuming she gets the full bonus 2,500 damage from her autofocus star power. That gives her the 10th most damaging super in the game. Now Cole's super shoots 12 bullets that pierce through brawlers and breaks walls. With some good accuracy, his super can deal 5,376 damage, which puts Colt at 9th place. Colette's super deals damage based off of who the enemy target is. The maximum damage against a Frank with sponge star power is 4,360 total damage. But against special targets like the boss, she deals 5,600 total damage, which is why her super is so good against the heist safe. Because of this, Colette takes 8th place. Bow fires 3 landmines and each deal 2,016 damage. If you are unfortunate enough to get hit by all 3 of them, you'll take 6,048 damage which will take out all but 9 brawlers. This places Bow in 7th place. With Rico's super bouncy star power, each bullet that bounces off a wall has its damage increased by 124 damage. If Rico bounces his super off of a wall first, he can deal 6,864 damage with one super, which places Rico in sixth place. Now, Rico's projectiles can only deal damage to a target one time, so Rico actually does worse if he fires at the boss like this. Do not underestimate the amount of damage that Carl can do with his super. Carl's super deals 7,056 damage over three seconds to any brawler that he's touching, which can take out every brawler other than Rosa, El Primo, and Frank. Because of this, Carl takes fifth place. Surprisingly enough, Squeak Super can deal even more damage than Carl's. Each glob can deal 1,400 damage, and all eight of them can deal damage to the same target for 8,400 total damage, which is enough to take out every brawler other than Frank. This places Squeak in fourth place. Now, Brock Super fires nine rockets that each deal 1,456 damage, but he can only consistently get six rockets to hit a single target, which is still an insane amount of damage. Six rockets can deal 8,736, which gives Brock the third highest damaging super. 
Super. Now, BB Super can deal 1,260 damage with each hit. If an enemy is trapped between two walls that are close enough to each other, she can hit that target eight times, which results in an insane 10,080 total damage, which is almost enough to take out a Frank with his sponge star power. And coming in first, we have Crow, which you might remember from the previous Super Olympics. Crow gets to cheat a little bit in this Olympics since a perfectly placed Super allows Crow to hit all of his daggers against the boss. In total, he's able to deal 12,544 damage, which places him in first place for the highest damaging Super. Now against a regular Brawler, the maximum damage that he can deal with his Super is 4,480, excluding Poison, so keep that in mind. Now that we've covered all of the Brawlers that deal damage with their Supers, I'm going to cover the Supers of all the Brawlers that don't deal damage from worst to best. Keep in mind that some of these Brawlers have Supers that can deal damage with their star powers. However, I decided to rank them away from the other ones because we're primarily rating the Supers. Honestly, Edgar's Super really isn't that great. It doesn't deal any damage without his star power, so it's pretty much just a jump. Yeah, it can self-charge and he often has his Super up because of it, but the Super itself doesn't do a whole lot. So I put Edgar in last place out of the 11 Brawlers that don't deal damage with their Supers. Next is Jackie for 10th place. Her Super pulls enemies, shields Jackie, and knocks enemies up, which are all great, but there are better pulls and better shields, which is exactly why I don't consider her super to be that great. Rose's super is about as simple as it comes. It increases her defense, and that's pretty much it. With that said though, it is one of the best shields in the game, which is why I felt like it should be placed a little bit higher than last, so I ranked her super at ninth place. Pam's super is good because it spawns something that can tank shots, and it benefits the whole team. It doesn't have a large range, but with the help of her mama's squeeze star power, it can deal some damage and can be used to control an area. I decided to rank Pam super in eighth place. Poco and Pam were hard to decide between because they both help the whole team and can deal a little damage with the right star power. I felt like Poco Super is a little bit better just because it has really good range and its effects happen almost instantly. So Poco takes seventh place. I put Sprout close to the middle at sixth place because its super can affect the match drastically, but only if the map or the situation allows it to. Otherwise, it doesn't really do much and can sometimes even hurt your teammates. Max has another super that helps the whole team. Her speed buff can create a huge advantage when your whole team has it, so I put Max in fifth place. Now, in my opinion, Leon's super is ideal for any close range brawler because of how good it is at closing the gap between him and any brawler. It was actually a close tie between Max's and Leon's, but both Leon's star powers make his super so good, so Leon comes in fourth place. Where do I even start with 8-bit super? It can tank some shots, it buffs his speed, and though it may not deal damage itself, it increases the damage for his whole team by one and a half times. Plus, 8-bit can teleport to it. It's an incredibly versatile super, which is exactly why it places third out of all the brawlers with supers that don't deal damage. Whether or not Gene's super can pull the right enemy can absolutely make or break a game, especially in gem grab, knockout, or even siege. Because it's so great at winning entire matches, Gene Super takes second place. And that leaves Sandy, who I ranked as the number one super that doesn't deal damage without a star power. Invisibility is so strong, and Sandy makes his whole team invisible for a super long time within a large area. In my opinion, Sandy Super very well could be the best super in the game right now. But like I said at the beginning of this video, it is really hard to compare supers. I think there's a really good argument to say that maybe Lou's super is the best right now. Terra's super is incredibly good too. So let me know which super you think is the best super in Brawl Stars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe for more quality Brawl Stars content or check out some of my other videos. <laughs> Don't forget to use code Kairos in Brawl Stars shop. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.